Hello and welcome to another wee video by Smith Gaming. In this wee video, I'm going to show you how to get the G27 steering wheel, racing wheel, whatever you want to call it, working with Farming Simulator 15. So first things first, what we need to do is go to the profiler. So that's the Logitech profiler. It's down in the bottom right. You'll find it with the wee uh, show hidden icons. If you click that, you'll see it. Down there, the wee icon, that's the icon you're looking for, but it is called the Logitech Profiler, and this is the screen. You should know where this is if you have a G27, but if you don't, that's how you get to it. Um, first things first, let's create a new profile. So just go to Profile, go to New, click that, uh, name this, you can name it FS15. Uh, then go down here where it says Browse, click Browse. I've already now from Hold on, I'll come out of this folder just to show you. It's actually in, I have it saved on my E drive. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Farming Simulator 15. And then it'll take you into this folder. And then Farming Simulator 2015, highlight that and click Open. You'll see down here now it's a wee icon. So see if you just highlight, highlight the Farming Simulator icon. Click OK. Yes. And you'll see here now it says play FS15. Right, so that's a new profile is made. So now we go to options. We go to a global device settings. Right, now all yours will be up to 100%. Now you can turn, you can mess about with these yourself to get no, get the game feeling the way you, you want it to. Around 5%, 5%. I have, well, I have it 6, 6, 7, but it's up to yourself. Um, tick this, make sure enable centering spring and force feedback games um take this and make this around 45 percent now you can make it from i'd say 42 percent maybe 40 percent say 40 percent to 45 percent just have a wee play with that see how it feels for you but for now i set it to 45 percent just that we get it up everything up and running uh you'll see here ste steering wheel settings make sure this is ticked report combined pedals that has to be ticked <clears throat> Now you'll see here uh, that yours, I'm not too sure what it will be, it'll probably be around 200 ish. Make sure it's up to 900. It is a simulator, so we want to get the use out of our full steering wheel, and it's our steering wheels can turn 900 degrees, so uh, to me, it makes better sense. So after you've got them kind of like that, or click OK. Now you see where it says play FS15, just click that, and the game will start to load. So here we are, we're on this screen, so now go to Options. Now see where it says MIS, Miscellaneous. Uh, click that. This was just some of the steps I've seen, some of the tutorials actually not even telling you what to do. Um, and it's probably the most important step. So once you go to Miscellaneous down here at the bottom, up here where it says Steering Wheel, Forward Slash, a Gamepad. Make sure that's selected on. Now, I've turned the ga your uh, gamepad's dead zone was 14%, I believe. I've turned it down to zero. And then basically just click save. It'll do its thing. Load back up. Right, now options again, sorry. Uh, controls. Now, you can set these up to be whatever you want, whatever you find. No better for you. There's no point me going through what I like mine set up because you could play completely different. So we'll not get into that, and I, I would make the video last way too long. But anyway, the the main ones you want to find is drive backwards, drive forwards, steer right, steer left. They should for the good part they should be okay. But just in case, if I click drive backwards, everything will be grayed out. And I press down the brake fully to the floor and let it back up, and then that's it. It's selected. Right now, drive forward, do the same with the accelerator pedal, right down the floor, and back up. And then obviously, we steer right, just turn the steering wheel all the way to the right. Let go, and it should center itself back into the middle. Do the same for left, then just click uh, save. But uh, like I said, you can go through all these, change the buttons to whatever you want. Just click save there, uh, click save again. And then that's basically it. Your steering wheel is set up. Just to prove my point, uh, I'll go into applying tutorial. Click start. Start again. Uh, run over to my tractor. 
Uh, there's a wait in front of me, so I'm going backwards. And as you see, that's me accelerating. That's me braking. Turning right. Turning left. Slow accelerate. Sorry, slow accelerator. More, more, more. All the way to the floor. And there we have it. Everything is set up to, be, to where I want it. I hope this video has helped you and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye bye. -bye.